Dualism in cosmology is the moral or spiritual belief that two fundamental concepts exist, which often oppose each other. It is an umbrella term that covers a diversity of views from various religions, including both traditional religions and scriptural religions. Moral dualism is the belief of the great complement of, or conflict between, the benevolent and the malevolent. It simply implies that there are two moral opposites at work, independent of any interpretation of what might be moral and independent of how these may be represented. Moral opposites might, for example, exist in a worldview which has one God, more than one God, or none. By contrast, duotheism, bithyism or dithyism implies at least two gods. While bithyism implies harmony, dithyism implies rivalry and opposition, such as between good and evil, or light and dark, or summer and winter. For example, a dithyistic system could be one in which one god is a creator, and the other a destroyer. In theology, dualism can also refer to the relationship between God and creation or God and the universe see theistic dualism. This form of dualism is a belief shared in certain traditions of Christianity and Hinduism. Alternatively, in ontological dualism, the world is divided into two overarching categories. The opposition and combination of the universe's two basic principles of yin and yang is a large part of Chinese philosophy, and is an important feature of Taoism. It is also discussed in Confucianism. Many myths and creation motifs with dualistic cosmologies have been described in ethnographic and anthropological literature. These motifs conceive the world as being created, organized, or influenced by two demiurges, culture heroes, or other mythological beings, who either compete with each other or have a complementary function in creating, arranging or influencing the world. There is a huge diversity of such cosmologies. In some cases, such as among the Chukchi, the beings collaborate rather than competing, and contribute to the creation in a co-equal way. In many other instances the two beings are not of the same importance or power sometimes, one of them is even characterized as gullible. Sometimes they can be contrasted as good versus evil. They may be often believed to be twins or at least brothers. Dualistic motifs in mythologies can be observed in all inhabited continents. Zolotaryov concludes that they cannot be explained by diffusion or borrowing, but are rather of convergent origin, they are related to a dualistic organization of society moieties. .In some cultures, this social organization may have ceased to exist, but mythology preserves the memory in more and more disguised ways. <laughs> Moral dualism Moral dualism is the belief of the great complement or conflict between the benevolent and the malevolent. Like bithyism, bithyism see below, moral dualism does not imply the absence of monist or monotheistic principles. Moral dualism simply implies that there are two moral opposites at work, independent of any interpretation of what might be moral and unlike dithyism, bithyism independent of how these may be represented. For example, Mazdaism Mazdian Zoroastrianism is both dualistic and monotheistic but not monist by definition since in that philosophy God, the creator, is purely good, and the antithesis, which is also uncreated as an absolute one. Zervanism Zervanite Zoroastrianism, Manichaeism, and Mandaism are representative of dualistic and monist philosophies since each has a supreme and transcendental first principle from which the two equal but opposite entities then emanate. This is also true for the lesser-known Christian Gnostic religions, such as Bogomils, Catharism, and so on. More complex forms of monist dualism also exist, for instance in Hermeticism, where nous thought that is described to have created man—brings forth both good and evil, dependent on interpretation, whether it receives prompting from the god or from the demon. Duality with pluralism is considered a logical fallacy. History Moral dualism began as a theological belief. Dualism was first seen implicitly in Egyptian religious beliefs by the contrast of the god Set disorder, death, and Osiris order, life. The first explicit conception of dualism came from the ancient Persian religion of Zoroastrianism around the mid-5th century BC. Zoroastrianism is a monotheistic religion that believes that Ahura Mazda is the eternal creator of all good things. Any violations of Ahura Mazda's order arise from Druj, which is everything uncreated. From this comes a significant choice for humans to make. 
either they fully participate in human life for Ahura Mazda or they do not and give Druj power. Personal dualism is even more distinct in the beliefs of later religions. The religious dualism of Christianity between good and evil is not a perfect dualism as God good will inevitably destroy Satan evil. Early Christian dualism is largely based on Platonic dualism see, Neoplatonism and Christianity. There is also a personal dualism in Christianity with a soul-body distinction based on the idea of an immaterial Christian soul. <laughs> Dwotheism, Bithyism, Dithyism When used with regards to multiple gods, dualism may refer to duotheism, bithyism, or dithyism. Although dithyism, bithyism imply moral dualism, they are not equivalent. Dithyism, bithyism implies at least two gods, while moral dualism does not necessarily imply theism, theos equals god at all. Both bithyism and dithyism imply a belief in two equally powerful gods with complementary or antonymous properties, however, while bithyism implies harmony, dithyism implies rivalry and opposition, such as between good and evil, bright and dark, or summer and winter. For example, a dithyistic system would be one in which one god is creative, the other is destructive cf. Theodicy. In the original conception of Zoroastrianism, for example, Ahura Mazda was the spirit of ultimate good, while Ahriman was the spirit of ultimate evil. In a bithyistic system, by contrast, where the two deities are not in conflict or opposition, one could be male and the other female cf. One well-known example of a bithyistic or duotheistic theology based on gender polarity is found in the neo-pagan religion of Wicca. In Wicca, dualism is represented in the belief of a god and a goddess as a dual partnership in ruling the universe. This is centered on the worship of a divine couple, the moon goddess and the horned god, who are regarded as lovers. However, there is also a dithyistic theme within traditional Wicca, as the horned god has dual aspects of bright and dark, relating to day, night, summer, winter, expressed as the oak king and the holly king, who in Wiccan myth and ritual are said to engage in battle twice a year for the hand of the goddess, resulting in the changing seasons. Within Wicca, bright and dark do not correspond to notions of good and evil, but are aspects of the natural world, much like yin and yang in Taoism. Topic. Radical and mitigated dualism Topic. Radical dualism, or absolute dualism which posits two co-equal divine forces. Manichaeism conceives of two previously coexistent realms of light and darkness which become embroiled in conflict, owing to the chaotic actions of the latter. Subsequently, certain elements of the light became entrapped within darkness. The purpose of material creation is to enact the slow process of extraction of these individual elements, at the end of which the kingdom of light will prevail over darkness. Manichaeism likely inherits this dualistic mythology from Zoroastrianism, in which the eternal spirit Ahura Mazda is opposed by his antithesis, Angra Mainu. The two are engaged in a cosmic struggle, the conclusion of which will likewise see Ahura Mazda triumphant. The Hymn of the Pearl included the belief that the material world corresponds to some sort of malevolent intoxication brought about by the powers of darkness to keep elements of the light trapped inside it in a state of drunken distraction. Mitigated dualism, is where one of the two principles is in some way inferior to the other. Such classical Gnostic movements as the Scythians conceived of the material world as being created by a lesser divinity than the true God that was the object of their devotion. The spiritual world is conceived of as being radically different from the material world, coextensive with the true God, and the true home of certain enlightened members of humanity. Thus, these systems were expressive of a feeling of acute alienation within the world, and their resultant aim was to allow the soul to escape the constraints presented by the physical realm. However, bithyistic and dithyistic principles are not always so easily contrastable, for instance, in a system where one God is the representative of summer and drought and the other of winter and rain, fertility. Cf. The mythology of Persephone. Marcionism, an early Christian sect, held that the Old and New Testaments were the work of two opposing gods, both were first principles, but of different religions. Theistic dualism In theology, dualism can refer to the relationship between God and creation or God and the universe. This form of dualism is a belief shared in certain traditions of Christianity and Hinduism. 
Topic: In Christianity. Topic: The dualism between God and creation has existed as a central belief in multiple historical sects and traditions of Christianity, including Marcionism, Catharism, Paulicianism, and Gnostic Christianity. Christian dualism refers to the belief that God and creation are distinct, but interrelated through an indivisible bond. In sects like the Cathars and the Paulicians, this is a dualism between the material world, created by an evil god, and a moral god. Historians divide Christian dualism into absolute dualism, which held that the good and evil gods were equally powerful, and mitigated dualism, which held that material evil was subordinate to the spiritual good. The belief, by Christian theologians who adhere to a libertarian or compatibilist view of free will, that free will separates humankind from God has also been characterized as a form of dualism. The theologian Leroy Stevens Rauner compares the dualism of Christianity with the dualism that exists in Zoroastrianism and the Samkhya tradition of Hinduism. The theological use of the word dualism dates back to 1700. In a book that describes the dualism between good and evil, the tolerance of dualism ranges widely among the different Christian traditions. As a monotheistic religion, the conflict between dualism and monism has existed in Christianity since its inception. The 1912 Catholic Encyclopedia describes that, in the Catholic Church, the dualistic hypothesis of an eternal world existing side by side with God was of course rejected by the 13th century, but mind-body dualism was not. The problem of evil is difficult to reconcile with absolute monism, and has prompted some Christian sects to veer towards dualism. Gnostic forms of Christianity were more dualistic, and some Gnostic traditions posited that the devil was separate from God as an independent deity. The Christian dualists of the Byzantine Empire, the Paulicians, were seen as Manichaean heretics by Byzantine theologians. This tradition of Christian dualism, founded by Constantine Silvanus, argued that the universe was created through evil and separate from a moral god. The Cathars, a Christian sect in southern France, believed that there was a dualism between two gods, one representing good and the other representing evil. The Roman Catholic Church denounced the Cathars as heretics, and sought to crush the movement in the 13th century. The Albigensian Crusade was initiated by Pope Innocent III in 1208 to remove the Cathars from Languedoc in France, where they were known as Albigensians. The Inquisition, which began in 1233 under Pope Gregory IX, also targeted the Cathars. Topic: Gnosticism. Topic. Gnosticism is a diverse, syncretistic religious movement consisting of various belief systems generally united in the teaching that humans are divine souls trapped in a material world created by an imperfect god, the Demiurge, who is frequently identified with the Abrahamic god. The Demiurge may be depicted as an embodiment of evil, or in other instances as merely imperfect and as benevolent as its inadequacy permits. This Demiurge exists alongside another remote and unknowable supreme being that embodies good. Bogomils, Polycans and Cathars are typically seen as being imitative of Gnosticism. Whether or not the Cathari possessed direct historical influence from ancient Gnosticism is a matter of dispute. The basic conceptions of Gnostic cosmology are, however, to be found in Cathar beliefs most distinctly in their notion of a lesser creator god. Unlike the 2nd century Gnostics, they did not apparently place any special relevance upon knowledge Gnosis as an effective salvific force. In Hinduism The Dvaita Vedanta school of Indian philosophy espouses a dualism between God and the universe by theorizing the existence of two separate realities. The first and the more important reality is that of Shiva or Shakti or Vishnu or Brahman. Shiva or Shakti or Vishnu is the supreme self, God, the absolute truth of the universe, the independent reality. The second reality is that of dependent but equally real universe that exists with its own separate essence. Everything that is composed of the second reality, such as individual soul jiva, matter, etc. exist with their own separate reality. The distinguishing factor of this philosophy as opposed to Advaita Vedanta monistic conclusion of Vedas is that God takes on a personal role and is seen as a real eternal entity that governs and controls the universe. Because the existence of individuals is grounded in the divine, they are depicted as reflections, images or even shadows of the divine, but never in any way identical with the divine. 
Salvation therefore is described as the realization that all finite reality is essentially dependent on the Supreme. Topic. Ontological dualism Topic. Alternatively, dualism can mean the tendency of humans to perceive and understand the world as being divided into two overarching categories. In this sense, it is dualistic when one perceives a tree as a thing separate from everything surrounding it. This form of ontological dualism exists in Taoism and Confucianism, beliefs that divide the universe into the complementary oppositions of yin and yang. In traditions such as classical Hinduism, Zen Buddhism or Islamic Sufism, a key to enlightenment is transcending this sort of dualistic thinking, without merely substituting dualism with monism or pluralism. In Chinese philosophy the opposition and combination of the universe's two basic principles of yin and yang is a large part of Chinese philosophy, and is an important feature of Taoism, both as a philosophy and as a religion, although the concept developed much earlier. Some argue that yin and yang were originally an earth and sky god, respectively. As one of the oldest principles in Chinese philosophy, yin and yang are also discussed in Confucianism, but to a lesser extent. Some of the common associations with yang and yin, respectively, are, male and female, light and dark, active and passive, motion and stillness. Some scholars believe that the two ideas may have originally referred to two opposite sides of a mountain, facing towards and away from the sun. The yin and yang symbol in actuality has very little to do with Western dualism, instead it represents the philosophy of balance, where two opposites co-exist in harmony and are able to transmute into each other. In the yin-yang symbol there is a dot of yin and yang and a dot of yang and yin. In Taoism, this symbolizes the interconnectedness of the opposite forces as different aspects of Tao, the first principle. Contrast is needed to create a distinguishable reality, without which we would experience nothingness. Therefore, the independent principles of yin and yang are actually dependent on one another for each other's distinguishable existence. The complementary dualistic concept seen in yin and yang represent the reciprocal interaction throughout nature, related to a feedback loop, where opposing forces do not exchange in opposition but instead exchange reciprocally to promote stabilization similar to homeostasis. An underlying principle in Taoism states that within every independent entity lies a part of its opposite. Within sickness lies health and vice versa. This is because all opposites are manifestations of the single Tao, and are therefore not independent from one another, but rather a variation of the same unifying force throughout all of nature. In traditional religions Uralic peoples in a Nenets myth, Num and Na collaborate and compete with each other, creating land. There are also other myths about competing collaborating demiurges. Topic: <laughs> Comparative studies of Uralic peoples and Kets. Topic: Among others, also dualistic myths were investigated in researches which tried to compare the mythologies of Siberian peoples and settle the problem of their origins. Vyacheslav Ivanov and Vladimir Toporov compared the mythology of Ket people with those of Uralic peoples, assuming in the studies, that there are modeling semiotic systems in the compared mythologies, and they have also made typological comparisons. Among others, from possibly Uralic mythological analogies, those of Ob Ugric peoples and Samoyedic peoples are mentioned. Some other discussed analogies similar folklore motifs, and purely typological considerations, certain binary pairs in symbolics may be related to dualistic organization of society. Some of such dualistic features can be found at these compared peoples. It must be admitted that, for Kets, neither dualistic organization of society nor cosmological dualism has been researched thoroughly. If such features existed at all, they have either weakened or remained largely undiscovered. Although there are some reports on division into two exogamous patrilinear moieties, folklore on conflicts of mythological figures, and also on cooperation of two beings in creating the land, the diving of the waterfowl. 
If we include dualistic cosmologies meant in broad sense, not restricted to certain concrete motifs, then we find that they are much more widespread, they exist not only among some Uralic peoples, but there are examples in each inhabited continent. Chukchi <laughs> A Chukchi myth and its variations report the creation of the world. In some variations, it is achieved by the collaboration of several beings, birds, collaborating in a coequal way, or the creator and the raven, collaborating in a coequal way, or the creator alone, using the birds only as assistants. Topic: <laughs> Fuegians. Topic: All three Fujian tribes had dualistic myths about culture heroes. The Yamana have dualistic myths about the two Joalox brothers. They act as culture heroes, and sometimes stand in an antagonistic relation with each other, introducing opposite laws. Their figures can be compared to the Kwanyip brothers of the Selkanam. In general, the presence of dualistic myths in two compared cultures does not imply relatedness or diffusion necessarily. See also Topic Dadash, the two ways Duality Mind-body dualism Evil twin Gnosticism Nondualism Table of opposites Yananton Complementary dualism in native South American culture Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Eniazimov, A. F. As Oskazasegi Tarsatilom Zelemi Elite in Hungarian. Budapest, Kossuth Konipkiado. ISBN 963-09-1843-9. Title means, The Spiritual Life of the Primitive Commune. The book is composed out of the translations of the following two originals, Anisimov F.A. 1966, Duhovna Zizan Pervobitnovo Obsestva in Russian, Moskva Leningrad. The other one, Anisimov F.A. 1971. Istoriseski Asobenosti Pervobitnovo Myslenia in Russian, Moskva Leningrad. Gusind, Martin. 1966. Nordwind Sudwind. Mythen und Marchen der Feuerlandindianer in German. Castle, E. Roth. Title means, North Wind, South Wind. Myths and Tales of Fuegians. Ivanov, Vyacheslav, Vladimir Toporov 1973. Towards the Description of Ket Semiotic Systems. Semiotica. The Hague Prague New York, Mouton. Ix 4, 318-346. Ivanov, V. Jakseslav equals Vyacheslav 1984. Naevic S. Mitologiac. Nyelv, Middish, Kultura in Hungarian. Collected, Appendix, Editorial Afterward by Hoppel, Mihaly. Budapest, Gondolat. ISBN 963-281-186-0. The title means, Language, Myth, Culture, the Editorial Afterward means, Languages and Mythologies. Ivanov, V. Jakseslav equals Vyacheslav 1984. Obi Ugor S. Ket Folklorkopisi Nyelv, Middish, Kultura in Hungarian. Collected, Appendix, Editorial Afterward by Hoppel, Mihaly. Budapest, Gondolat. pp. 215-233. ISBN 963-281-186-0. The title means, Language, Myth, Culture, the chapter means, Obi Ugric and Ket Folklore Contacts. Verdas, Edit, 1990. Sibiriai Nyevrokonenk Hitvalaga in Hungarian. Budapest, Tankanivkiado. ISBN 963-18-2603-1. The title means, Belief Systems of Our Language Relatives in Siberia. Zolotarjev, A. M. Tarsatilomshevezit s dualisticus teremtazmitazak Sibiriaban. In Hopal, Mihaly. Ateju Fiai. Tanelmanyaka Finujor Napik Hivilagaral in Hungarian. Budapest, Europa Konivkiado pp. 29-58. ISBN 963-07-2187-2. Chapter means, Social Structure and Dualistic Creation Myths in Siberia, title means, The Sons of Milky Way. 
Studies on the belief systems of Finno-Ugric peoples Topic. External links Topic. Media related to dualism at Wikimedia Commons Duality entry in the UCLA Encyclopedia of Egyptology Dictionary of the History of Ideas, Dualism in Philosophy and Religion